Each post is assigned to one or more categories. Categories are similar to the index pages for a book and can be arranged in a hierarchy with parent and child categories. This helps with navigation and allows posts to be grouped with others of similar content. Categories can be shown in various parts of the site. Typically, WordPress shows all the categories to which a given post belongs under the post. When someone viewing your post clicks on one of these category links, a template page with all the posts belonging to that category is displayed. Categories can be added when a post is written, or they can be created in this screen where they're also managed. To create a category, enter a name in the name field. This is the name that will appear on the site. The category slug must be unique. WordPress allows the category name to have a duplicate if you use a unique slug. The slug is the URL-friendly version of the name. It's all lowercase and contains only letters, numbers, and hyphens. You can assign a slug in this field or leave it blank and WordPress will create it for you. Parent is a drop-down menu. If you want this new category to be a parent, then select None. If you want to make this new category a subcategory or child, then select the parent here. When someone visits the site and clicks the category link, all posts in a parent category and all its subcategories will display. But when clicking a subcategory link, it will only display the post in that subcategory. Category descriptions are optional. Some themes take advantage of the category descriptions, others do not. So having a description may or may not modify the way categories are displayed on the site. Even if they're not used by the active theme, you still may find them useful since you can search this description to find a certain category. Once you've entered all the information, click the Add New Category button. It will then appear in the Category table where it can be edited. The table lists all the categories by role. Categories are displayed in a hierarchy and alphabetically by parent category. Subcategories are displayed underneath their parents and are prefaced by long dashes. These dashes are not part of the name. They only show the hierarchy structure. You can use the Screen Options tab at the top of the screen to edit the category table heading and to control the number of categories shown in the table. Uncheck any box to hide that column or check any box that you want to show. There is also an option to limit the number of categories you want displayed in the table. Enter the number and click Apply. The table can be sorted by any of the headings. The name of the category is what appears on the site, and below the name is the action line where a category can be edited, edited using the quick edit, deleted, or viewed. If a category is deleted, it does not delete any of the posts assigned to that category. These posts will be assigned to the default category. Default category is described in the Writing Settings video. Description shows what was entered in the description field when creating the category. This does not show on the site by default, but can be used by some themes. The slug is what was created in the slug field either by you or by WordPress. And post is the number of posts which belong to this category. Click on the number to be directed to the All Posts screen to manage the post in that category. The bulk actions is available for performing an action to several categories. Select the categories, the action, and click Apply and by entering keywords in a search box at the top of the page, the table will list any categories that meet that search criteria. Just below the table is a link to convert categories so they can be used as tags. If you click on this link, it takes you to the Tools Import screen. On the list is a Categories and Tags Converter, which will then take you to the Install page for a plugin that handles this conversion.